Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. I've seen the look all over TikTok, now it's time to make it my own. The reverse eyeliner is fierce, like regular eyeliner, only it's focused on the lower lash line. Let's look at some of the products that are needed to help anyone achieve this look. To start, add concealer to your eyes. This will make them brighter, calling attention to the reverse eyeliner. I will use this Kiss Beauty 20 color contour and a correct cream palette. Now, this has dried a bit, so to revive it, I will add a beauty oil from YSL. Now, this is a sample size. Now, this is a deeply replenishing oil that has been specifically developed to nourish dry and very dry skin. I'm going to be using this during winters because it is just that amazing. Now, it features a formula packed with saffron extract and a high concentration of natural oils to fight against free radicals for a rich anti-aging treatment. Immediately, skin is nourished, more uniform, and luminous. So I'm not going to be using this how it's supposed to be used. I'm just going to be adding a drop of this beauty oil into the concealer and mix it very well. You can see how it made the concealer so creamy. It looks lightweight, that's sheer and buildable, so you can layer it to create your ideal coverage. As you can see, it has evened my skin tone and made the greenish veins on my hands disappear. So it is providing very good coverage. So I love this two-in-one product. It corrects and conceals. I will use this dual brush. It has a small flat brush to target the hard-to-reach areas of the eyes. I love to use this brush as it has tight and compact bristles, which pick up and distribute product onto the area with the most control. Then I will use a round fluffy end, as well as a separate brush for smoothing and buffing the product in. I will also apply the color correcting concealer under the eyes. Just gently pat across the under eye area until fully covered. Final finish will be with a damp beauty blender. I will use the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. This is a warm toned neutral palette with a mix of essential mattes and glamorous shimmers. For today's eye makeup look, I will focus only on the matte eyeshadows. Now to set the concealer, you can use a translucent powder, but I will set it using this shade Tempera. This is a moderately warm toned light beige with a satin finish eyeshadow. It has a light soft powdery consistency. Apply this eyeshadow all over and under the eyes to lock in the coverage. Next product I will use is this Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eye Pencil in the shade T54 Ultra Black. This is a long lasting and waterproof eye pencil. Its ultra soft texture glides along the lash lines for an intense and vibrant effect. The formula enhanced by jojoba, I mean jojoba and cotton oils offers absolute comfort. Taking a pencil brush, I will smudge the eyeliner pencil and kind of sketch out where I will place the black eyeshadow. As I am smudging the eyeliner, I will also make a small wing pointed upward at the outer corner of each eye. When I reach the outer corner of each line, make sideways swiping motion with the brush that direct the pencil liner out and upward to form a wing. Check out this shade Noir. This is a neutral tone dark black with a matte finish. The texture is velvety and blends out very well. I will dip a pencil brush in this shade and slightly smudge some of the black eye pencil on the lower lash line. Use sidewards swiping motions to bring the line down. You want to make it slightly thicker as reverse eyeliner is dramatic. I will also add the black eyeshadow to the wing part. Make sure the thick part of the wing is coming from the bottom line. Now let's focus on the top eyelid. In order for the top eyelid to look defined, apply a transition shade in the crease of the upper eyelid with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. The shade I will use will be Rustic. This is a warm tone, medium dark brown shade with a matte finish. The texture again is very smooth, velvety and easy to blend and it's very pigmented. The consistency is soft, velvety and blendable without being powdery. I will sweep the brush in a half moon motion up and around the center of the crease. Take your time building the color, adding more layers of the same eye shade and blend it well without reaching the inner part of the eye. Blend it out well so the color looks soft and diffused at the crease. To darken the crease, I will use the shade Cypress Umber. This is a slightly warm toned dark taupe with a matte finish. The pigmentation is fantastic, texture is soft, silky and smooth with just a touch of powderiness. I will start at the outermost part of the eye and gradually work my way inward. Buff this color in small circular motions until there's a smooth gradient between the two shades. Fade the mix of the eyeshadows out of the eyes towards the end of the eyebrows for a lifted look. 
Dipping into the black shade again, just connect the bottom eyeliner with the top of your eye. You do not want too much eyeliner on top for a reverse eyeliner look. However, move the wing inward slightly onto your upper lash line. Draw a small line going a little into the outer corner of your upper lash line. The best part about this reverse eyeliner makeup look is that it works very well with all the eye shapes. Now to add more drama to this eye look, really define the inner corner of the eyes. Dip an angled brush into the shade Noir and simply follow the shape of your eye and extend a super thin and precise line a little ahead of the tear duct. Turn the line into a thin wedge shaped triangle. This reverse eyeliner has a lot of room for creativity and customization which makes this eye look so much fun to do. Clean up under the eyes and accentuate your lashes with mascara. For extra oomph, add lashes. For lash glue, I will use this Huda Beauty Waterproof Lash Glue, which is fast drying. I got this from the dollar store. As you can see, this eyelash glue is very black. So I cut the lash in half and applied a thin line of the lash glue along the base of the false eyelashes. Let this set for 30 seconds or until it becomes sticky. Place the lash as closely as possible to the base of your natural lashes. Press gently and adjust. For the lips, I will use these Moroccan Magic Lipsticks that goes on green but shows up as pink. Same with this orange lipstick. The color is buildable, can go from light pink to reddish pink. So the magic part is the characteristic of reacting differently to different lips. Also how it reacts to different skin tones. So the color that comes out of it will vary from one person to another. And that is what makes this lipstick so intriguing to use. Here is the final eye makeup look. It has all the fierceness of regular winged liner. It's just inverted to focus the attention on the lower lash line. Best of all, it looks flattering on everyone. And we're done! So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know I know it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.